Hello and welcome to Festool TV. My name is Frank. In this video, we'll be discussing the detachable domino, basic structure and furniture connectors. To show that these joints aren't just for basic structures and furniture, I've brought two sample workpieces. To start with, I've got a frame which I've cut to an angle of 45 degrees, which is quite narrow. Secondly, I've got something that's very narrow and delicate. These are two pieces of wood which I'd like to assemble using the domino basic structure and furniture jointing system. It's also an excellent gluing aid. I'll proceed as follows. I'll put these two parts together. I'll certainly want to put a fixed dowel into position. And insert the connector. At a later stage, I can use a screwdriver on the connector to pull the workpieces together. I made two markings earlier, just directly on the workpiece. This is because otherwise there's no reference points for working with my stops. The DF500 has already been set up. The material thickness has been set to 20 mm and the precise dowel hole setting has been adjusted. I've also set the routing depth for this elongated part to 28 mm. I'll fix the workpiece onto the MFT multifunction table. Let's start routing. The first two holes have now been routed. Let's route the other two holes. I'll change the routing depth. A depth of 15 mm will be enough for the fitting opposite. Next, I'll use the drill template to drill the hole. I'll drill into the lower hole so that I can install the fitting. This drill template helps me to position it. I can adjust the depth with great precision. I can use the 15mm drill included in the scope of delivery to optimally carry out the work. It's important to use an extractor when doing this. Our extractor has an integrated Bluetooth system. It's simple and safe. Let's assemble it together. I'll position the dowel in the upper section. You can also firmly glue it into one panel. I'll insert the small expansion screws into the other panel. I'll then screw in the metal pin and tighten it with a screwdriver. Tighten it until the metal pin is firmly fitted and it pushes the expansion dowel apart. We've done everything and it's all ready. We're just missing the metal bush with the small screw at the top here. I'll assemble the joint, align it and tighten it. I'm 
The detachable frame is now complete. I can undo it again or use it as a gluing aid. That's the first example finished. I'd like to use these small parts for the next demonstration. I intend to create a T-joint. I'll attach these two components so they can be detached. To do this, I'll use a domino jointer with the accessory part. This trim stop is very simple to use. I'll attach the trim stop to my jointing machine. Thanks to the trim stop, I can now set the trim thickness to between 70 mm and 22 mm. I can find the middle of the slat using the scale at the center and to the side. I'll connect the machine to the extractor system. I've also selected the 20 mm setting here. This means that the slat is 20 mm thick. For one panel, I'll adjust the routing depth to 28 mm with a precise routed hole setting. I'm now ready to start machining. We've now routed the first hole. I'll readjust the machine. I'll set the depth to 15 mm. I'll now place the machine on top of the slat, as I know that the distance between the board and the middle of the cutter is 10 mm. I can calibrate the machine where I like. Once I've found the correct position, I can start routing. I've now got my two holes. We're just missing the locking mechanism. Let's attach a drill template again. I'll just fit the extractor. We can now machine the workpiece. Before starting, I'll just secure it. I'll be using the basic structure and furniture connectors again. I'll start with my small bolt with a screw. I'll insert it here. The plastic part is now inserted to prevent the screw from falling out. I'll put the cross anchor in. and screw it tight. I will now choose a panel. Let's see whether this is the right one in relation to the stop. That looks excellent. I can now assemble the two parts. I'll just tighten it. I've now got a great T-joint. As you can see, the basic structure and jointing system offers a lot of possibilities, even if you're assembling narrow parts. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you again. See you next time.